Hey guys, it's Heather, the Butterfly Effect, plant-based extreme weight loss, and it's early in the morning, so I'm talking kind of soft. I think this is probably the only time that I'm going to have to talk to you today, and I just want to really make sure that I do take this time. And uh, as everybody knows, I weigh in on Wednesdays, and today is weigh in Wednesday, and it's not good. It's not good. I'm committed to being 100% accountable. And I tell you, I did not want to make this video today. But I'm making this video because this is my journey. This is my whole journey. And sometimes I mess up. Sometimes I do. And so... Unfortunately, that's what I have to report this week. So let me tell you the good stuff and the bad stuff, and then we'll go from there. On last Friday, I went, uh, I was great all week. I was doing great all week before this. And then on last Friday, I took a road trip to Canada. I don't live that far from Canada, maybe five hours, so... My daughter and I had said that when I got to 200 pounds off, that we would take a road trip to Canada. And so I got there and I wanted to, um, we had, my daughter is 22 and we had gone to high tea at Kensington Palace in London when we visited London last year. And so we wanted to um, go to the Empress Hotel because they have a vegan high tea and I really wanted to try it. I knew that there would be sugar and processed food, you know, made with oil and everything, but at least it wouldn't be hurting any animals um, and it'd be a little bit healthier. But, you know, I wasn't kidding myself. So we did that, and we had a fun time, but I did not realize, and I should have, <laughs> you know, you get to a point where you think that you have this all down, and that you're cruising along, and you're doing great. Um, I didn't realize what a trigger the sugar was going to be for me. It was a huge trigger, and... It, uh, I found it really hard to get back on track after, um, I had tea. And so, anyway, I didn't get back on track after I had tea. Um, the only thing I can say, I don't want to trigger anybody, so, the only thing I can say is that I did stay vegan. And so that's a victory. But I'm up 10 pounds this week. It's kind of shocking because I don't feel like I ate that much. Um, and I am really sensitive to salt, so maybe there was too much salt in the food too. But I'm up 10 pounds, you guys. I'm up, uh, I'm 246 now, so... I can no longer say that I'm 200 pounds off. Um, I would be shocked, but this isn't the first time that I've gone up 10 pounds in a, in a week. But it, it is kind of, it does show that different people have different metabolisms and that they, you know, can gain weight really easily. So, yeah, that's what happened and that's where I am. Um. The most important thing that I'm doing now is I feel like I need to get back my sobriety as far as not eating compulsive foods, um, no sugar, no oil, back to raw vegan. Um, I'm not even going to eat any cooked food, not even beans or sweet potatoes or anything for a while. Just going to try to clear out what I did to myself when I was bad, when I was, you know, making choices that I don't make anymore. It's hard for me to not think that 
that was bad, you know. Um, but I don't live, my, that's not my moral code. <laughs> my moral code's a little more complicated than that. The other thing is that I need to look at this a little bit further, okay. So one thing you should know is when I went off of my raw food back in 2010 where everything took a dive off a cliff and I went all the way back up to 391 pounds like I just fell completely off a cliff um what I had reached was 240 pounds off I mean 240 pounds so I had I got to the same number before I messed up um, then, and so, sorry about my puppy jumping on my lap, but I'm not really sorry about it. This is my furry personal trainer. Hello. You want to be famous? You want to be on the video? You want to be on the video? Anyway, she's trying to tell me it's time to go for a walk, so <laughs> I better go for a walk pretty soon, huh, honey? Okay, so anyway, what I was saying is I think that there's still a part of me that thinks I don't deserve this or that is scared of having gotten 200 pounds off um, that felt like I needed to sabotage it because I'm getting all these nice, you know, encouragement and feedback and kind words and um, all this love. <laughs> for what I had accomplished, you know, I did accomplish that. I got down to 236 pounds. I'm now at 246. I wonder if I just immediately sabotaged or went back to my old patterns um, because I didn't feel like I deserved it. And that's really sad. If, But... I can certainly see that being the case. So I still have a lot of work to do with that. And um, I don't know what to tell you now. You know, my confidence is gone. I want to say I'm getting right back on. I want to say I'm only going to eat raw food. I want to say that this weight's going to come right back off that I'm still going to get to Wonderland by New Year's, which was my big goal. Um, Wonderland, if you don't know, is when you weigh a hundred and something. <laughs> and I still weigh, you know, I weigh 246. I'm closer to 250 than I am to 200. So, <sighs> anyway, I don't know what to tell you because I have lost my confidence right now. But... Uh, I will tell you what I can, t I do know what to do, so I'm going to try to get myself to do it, and I do know that I can do it, I can, um, and I'm not going to give up, I'm not going to give up, I won't, if I fall a thousand more times, I will get up a thousand and one more times. So that's where it is today. This is not my favorite way in Wednesday, but that is how you overcome a lifetime of compulsive eating. Sometimes you mess up. Relapse is part of it. And I know this, and I'm still sad. And I've obviously got more work to do. And I hope you have a good week and I would love to hear any encouragement you have for how you get back up after you've had uh, a bad week or a bad fall off your plan. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.